Hello and welcome to the tutorial for the Roommate Finder. Today we're going to walk through the steps of the Roommate Finder profile, talk about the Roommate Finder itself, as well as discuss what you need to do when you find your potential future roommate and you have selected, then what? So first we are logged into My Housing Portal here, and now we're going to enter the portal through Manage My Housing Contracts. Then we're going to manage our 1920 housing contract and we're going to access the Roommate Finder. Here we are, we're at the Roommate Finder profile. You will have to go through the steps of the Roommate Finder profile each time you look to come back to the Roommate Finder itself. So this is where we begin our journey for searching and chatting with potential future roommates. Then we have to understand the acknowledgement that um, this is an inclusive community where we, uh, we understand that you will be respectful of all individuals of varying beliefs, lifestyles, and cultures. If this opportunity is used in a negative nature, the university reserves the right to ban any student from this Roommate Searching tool. So yes, I understand that. Um, now I decide if I want to opt in or opt out. So if I want to opt in, I'm going to click here and yes, I do want to search for potential future roommates or if I'm done, I've selected my roommate or I've decided I no longer want to be on the roommate finder, I can opt out. So you can come back and toggle on or toggle off at any time here. Then it will access our contact information. You will see two grade boxes here for your phone number and your email address. That information comes from your Camp S profile, um, so you can update that information there, but then you can decide here if you want to show that information to your potential future roommate. So I decided, no, I don't wanna show my phone number, but yes, it is okay to show my email. Then you can decide what social media handles, if any, that you would like to share. So here I've shared all four, but you certainly could share one or none or all four. Whatever ones you use regularly, we ask that you do that so that if um, individuals start reaching out to you that you will respond. So we're done, I'm good with my information, I'm ready to submit my Roommate Finder profile, and I am ready now to access the Roommate Finder. So now it opens in a new window and I'm gonna enlarge it. And you'll see on the right hand side the option in the scroll bar here with some things. So the roommate gender, um, you have a couple choices. I can leave it blank. If I'm looking to live on the LGBTQIA floor in towers, I can potentially leave this blank so that I would find potential roommates that are males or females as that floor has no gender specification. If I am looking for only females or only males, I would specify that. UW Claire does not use the unspecified, so no one should use that designation. So only this top three choices. For today, I'm gonna look for only females. Then you have the option about this display details. Everyone should keep this yes so that you can learn about your potential roommate. And then you can answer five of the questions. Remember on your housing contract, you answered 26 roommate matching questions that asked you yes, no questions. So now I have to decide how I want my future roommate to have answered those questions. So I want my future roommate, are you a non-smoker? Yes, I want my roommate to be a non-smoker. I also want my potential roommate um, to have interest in learning more on how to be a good LGBTQIA ally. So I'm gonna say yes. And then I want my future roommate to also be interested in religion and spirituality. So I'm going to click that one and I'm going to click yes. I'm only gonna enter three. So you can enter one or you can enter three, four or five. And you can always come back and change your search options to see if different individuals pop up. So then up here at the top is where I'm going to click preview to see my potential matches. So you can see here my friend, my housing office 73 friend, is also um, a match. You can see the score on the left hand side that I asked three questions and this student is a 3.0 match. You, I could also scroll down and see potential other future roommates and I can see if they matched. If it said 2.0, that means they matched two out of the three questions that I've asked. Then if I wanna toggle off and get this stuff out of the way because I no longer want that there, I can toggle off and I can scroll around and see their social media handles here so I can start reaching out and contacting this um, Housing 73 individual. And I can also see how they've answered all the other questions. So I can scroll through and see like, oh, do I think that they would be a good match for me because they like to have their room used for studying? Oh, they do, and I do too. And they disapprove of alcohol use and so do I. So yes, I think I'm gonna reach out to this person. So you can scroll down, like I said, and see all your potential matches. So then you can find your roommate and talk to as many people as you want. Now I'm ready and done. Um, for And I am ready to exit the roommate finder and I'm going to exit here. Yes, I am sure I want to exit. So then um, it brings me back to just the, you have now exited the roommate finder. But now what in the scenario is that I have found my potential roommate. I have connected with somebody and we've really made a good connection and I'm ready to cement that in and say that this person is going to be my roommate request for next year. What do I do? You then should go back to your housing portal, go into your contracts, and you have to do two things. 
you should update your contract. So roommate pairs should make sure that they have discussed their building preferences and discussed their living community preferences. Ideally, um, you should update your three building preferences on your housing contract to match, as well as your living communities. So if you want to live in a living community together, you need to have that conversation, and you should have first choice and second choice living community preferences the same. You will not be matched together if both of you do not specify the living community. If you do not want to live in the living community, you both should say no preference for a living community. So you can update your housing contract, page through um, all the different update sections of your um, contract, and right, we have to get there. Here's those questions that we answered. I said no to international roommate at this time, but here I can also specify my roommate. So I need to accept and invite. You can see I've already done it in this example, but I invited, this Housing 73 person has already invited me. So we connected, me and my Housing 73 friend on the roommate finder, and they went into their contract and they created a roommate group and invited me. So I have to now accept or decline this invitation. I do have to leave this group first, because I can only be a member of one group at a time. And then when I say, yep, I'm accepting the invitation. So now when it says leader and member, we are now officially a mutual roommate pair. Before it said leader and invited, and that is not mutual. It has to say leader and member to be mutual. So great, now we're official. Now we've decided that no, we don't want any living community preference, but again, these should match with what your potential roommate also has indicated. Additionally, we have decided that Murray Chancellors and Aspenson Mogensen, as we are transfer students, um, are, are building choices. And then I have updated my housing contract to reflect what me and my roommate have decided and I have accepted my roommate invitation. So now I am set to go. If I don't need to make any changes to my housing contract, I just want to specify who my roommate is. We've already, I've already updated my building preferences and my living communities. I can go directly here to my roommate preference in this section. And I can go right to the page in the housing contract where the roommate preference was and I can change or update this. Anytime any changes happens to this roommate group, every individual in the roommate group will be notified. So if I decide to leave this roommate group, yes, I do want to leave, then we all got an email saying, hey, this person has left the roommate group, there no longer is a roommate group. Or now I could create a new roommate group and I can invite somebody else. So then the finest, final step is that I've had my future roommate and I no longer want to be a member of the roommate finder because I found my roommate and I don't need other potential roommates to continue to contact me. I now want to opt out. So I'm going to uncheck the box and um, no longer be involved in the roommate finder and I'm going to submit my roommate finder profile and I'm going to be done. So I have now updated my housing contract to reflect my roommate. I have my roommate preference and I'm set to go. Thank you for listening today and please if you have any questions about how to use the roommate finder or how to update your roommate preference, please contact the housing office at housing at uwec.edu. Thank you.